Hi everyone, we are going to start with next type of public sector enterprise that is government company. Government company as the name suggests is a company where 51% of um, share is majorly of government. It can be state government, it can be central government. The shares of the government company are purchased in the name of the president and the examples are Coal India Limited or you can talk about BHL, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, HMT, Hindustan Machine Tools. So there are many other examples which we can uh, go through when we talk about government company. Now what, why this government company? When you are talking about departmental undertaking, we understand that it is uh, something to do under the ministry, concerned ministry, okay fine. When we talk about statutory corporation, they say it is started with the act of the parliament. So now why government company? Government company because government also wanted stake in the state with some of the companies so that things could remain in the hands of the government. All should not go totally into the hands of the private sector. They wanted to compete with the private sector and they initiated this uh, company called government company. So let's understand this. A government company means any company in which not less than 51% of the paid up capital is held by the central government. So here we come with the central government or by any state government. So we have state government also. Then partly by central or partly by, so partly is by central, partly by uh, one or more state government. So you have one and more state governments. Of course, also includes a company which is a subsidiary of government company. So anything which is a subsidiary of government company comes under a government company. Also a government company may be formed as a private limited company or public limited company. That is another feature of the government company. It depends upon, but the major shareholding will always be of the government company. Shares of the company are purchased in the name of the president, president of the country, that is our nation. So that um, president, in the name of the president, the shares are actually purchased. An example I've given you here is BHL or Coal India Limited. Very simple. Now there are some features of government company starting with the first uh, feature creation it is an organization created under the companies act 2013 any company uh, any government company which came into existence before the act of 2013 also is a government company but it has to go with the amendments made in the 2013 so the status remains the same next is separate legal entity when we talk about separate separate legal entity we've already done that in uh, our joint stock company similar is uh, the case out here what does it say the company can file a suit in the court of law suit means key you can file a case in the court of law it can be sued somebody else can sue a government company can enter into contracts why because they can buy property also they can get into contracts and of course the property is purchased in the name of the government company not any individual or the people who are there as directors uh, since the shares are in the name of the president not in the name of the president anything is done it is in the name of the government company that everything is being done management the management of the government company is regulated by the provisions of Companies Act. Companies Act is that is which is prevailing right now that is 2013 like any other public company. So whatever you have when you talk about any kind of public limited company similarly just ke shares bahar aam janta ke liye khule hote aur janta khariti hai vaise hi ek public limited company ki tarah government company bhi apne aap ko operate karti hai management vaise hi hoti hai directors hote hain board of directors hote hain sara kuch hota hai. Recruitment. The employees of the uh, company are appointed to their own rules and regulation as contained in MOA and AOA. If you remember, MOA is Memorandum of Association, AOA is Articles of Association. Inka apna memorandum hota hai, apna uh, objects hote hai, apne objectives hote hai, jiske saab se loon ko re recruit kiya jata hai. Articles, ye apni banana chahe, toh bhoat achhi baat hai. Nei toh they can copy it from table A or table F. So when we talk about articles of association, it is about the internal rules of the company, how to manage the company. Next we come to audit and accounting. These companies are exempted from the audit and accounting rules and procedures. Why we uh, uh, exempt them? Because basically an auditor is appointed by the central government. Uh, Control Auditor General of India, CAC, okay, an annual report is to be presented to the parliament or parliament ke through sari ke sari working kari jati hai ke government company ki. So, audit and accounting. 
गेट इट वेरी क्लियर हमारी ऑडिट एंड अकाउंटिंग जो है वो एग्जेप्टेड होती है रूल्स एंड प्रोसीजर से एक ऑडिटर को अपॉइंट किया जाता है सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के थ्रू और पार्लियामेंट के पास सारी रिपोर्ट पहुँचाई जाती है नेक्स्ट द फंड विच आर ऑप्टेन द गवर्नमेंट कंपनी ऑप्टेन्स इट्स फंड फ्रॉम दी गवर्नमेंट शेयर होल्डिंग हमने बोला था जितने भी शेयर्स होते हैं वो प्रेजेंट के नाम पे होते हैं और गवर्नमेंट के शेयर होल्डिंग से सारा पैसा आता है एंड अदर प्राइवेट शेयर होल्डर्स क्योंकि अगर 51 वन परसेंट शेयर जो है गवर्नमेंट का है तो 49 नाइन परसेंट किसी और का होगा वहाँ से बाकी पैसा आता है इट इज़ ऑल्सो परमिटेड टू रेज फंड फ्राम दी कैपिटल मार्केट यानी कि आपने कभी देखा होगा कि जो गवर्नमेंट uh, कंपनीज हैं उनके शेयर्स हमारी स्टॉक एक्सचेंज पे लिस्टेड होते हैं और लोग खरीदते भी हैं थिंकिंग दैट दीज आर गवर्नमेंट कंपनी शेयर्स दे आर मोर सेफ एंड लेस रिस्कियर राइट नेक्स्ट वी कम टू दी मेरिट्स एंड लिमिटेशन Now we begin with the merits and limitation. Uh, there is not much of explanation required uh, with these type of public sector enterprises, as the name suggests and as the features are. The merits come out from there only, and the limitations are opposite to that. If you actually analyze, like we had for statutory corporation, uh, flexible uh, flexibility, operational flexibility, and then we had inflexibility. Similarly, in government company, we have some points out here. Establishment, we already know how these are set up. So, a government company can be established by fulfilling the requirements of the Indian Company Act. Okay, a separate act of parliament is not required. It is unlike statutory corporation where you need a special act. It is not required out here. Normal Companies Act, you can start a government company since the name is government company. Departmental undertaking are concerned with the ministry, so no relation out here. So very clear, it should be that this is established with the Normal Companies Act. Second, separate legal entity. Government company has a separate legal entity, separate pechan hai, hum kar chuke, apart from the government, I have already told you, it can sue, can be sued, can come uh, into contracts, that is, it can sign contracts, then it can buy property in its name, so all these things are part of separate legal entity. Autonomy, autonomy means what? It means independence, okay, they are not dependent on, government companies are not dependent on anything, so government company enjoys all autonomy, all freedom. in all management decision takes action according to the business prudence as per their requirement they don't depend upon anybody for any kind of advice except for the uh, kind of uh, the board of directors it has to work with next curb practices what kind of unhealthy practices are curb uh, if you talk about the private company establishing their monopoly so when government company comes into the competition it breaks that kind of monopoly these companies provide goods and services at reasonable prices help to curb unhealthy business practices of the other types not only their practices their practices they are going to encourage so usually government things are uh, we say that government th- things are com- <clears throat> comparatively reasonable and they are good also for the usage quality wise or otherwise right limitation government holding a government company is only shareholder in uh, some of the companies the provision of companies act does not have much relevance i told you yahan par opposite chalta hai yahan bole ki establishment companies act se hai yahan par ye kya bolta hai bolta hai ki ye sirf naam ka hai relevance nahi hai iski koi ultimately shares president ke naam pe honge kaam kisne karna hai government ne karna hai companies act ki koi zyada relevance nahi hai except for the documentary evidence all right evades constitutional responsibility government company evades constitutional responsibility which a company financed by government should have because it is not answerable to the parliament koi answerability nahi hai parliament ki humne iske feature mein kara tha ki bhai parliament ko answerable hona chahiye inke liye zaruri hai kuch aisa nahi hai reality mein aisa nahi hota wo jo board of directors hai wo jo government uh, jo jinhone wo company form kari hai un logo tak ki sari cheeze simit reh jati of course the government in power is we are talking about government contribution the government being the sole shareholder the management and administration rests in the hand of the government the main purpose of government company registered registered t here like a company other companies is defeated repetitive yes companies act ki bahut relevance nahi hai bhai humne socha tha ki isko hum competition mein layenge private company ke sath aisa kaam karenge waisa kaam karenge wo wali cheez nahi aa pati hai कुछ नहीं आ पाता सो द सोल पर्पज ऑफ स्टैब्लिशिंग गवर्नमेंट कंपनी टू कम्पीट विद प्राइवेट कंपनीज इज ऑल्सो डिफीटेड दीज वर द मेरिट्स एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ गवर्नमेंट कंपनी विल बी टेकिंग अप द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय